Hey, so most of us when we're staying in Europe find that Airbnbs usually just have a washer, right? And I have done a video on how to work a washer in Europe because they're quite different. Sometimes the symbols and stuff are different than what we have in the States. Um, but more and more I'm starting to see dryers. Dryers in Europe are still not super prevalent, but Airbnbs are starting to get them and I think it's because um, Europe, you know, is recognizing that Americans are crazy and we have to have a dryer. Personally, I'd rather dry my clothes outside. But really quick, let's talk about this. They've got all these funky little things. Here's the deal. This one means wool. I often select that because wool is going to have the lowest heat possible. Um, and you know, like you can pick cotton and cotton usually is a high heat dry. So you know, kind of figure those things out. They're gonna be different on every on every dryer. So, but one thing that's usually not, this is this is something you see all over the place in Europe. This thing is sort of a dehumidifier. Not only does it dry your clothes, it sucks the water out. So you have to empty this, and all you do, there's always like a little hole somewhere. You just dump that out in the sink. That's one small load. So you have that, and then of course you also have your regular filter that you have to dump out, um, get rid of all that stuff. But this thing, I think I think these are brilliant, and I would love to have one in the States, um, minus the fact that they're really small in comparison to what we have. So anyway, just a quick thing on European dryers. 